Welcome to Dachin's Daily Dharma, episode 13, Friday Backbending Warm-Up Wall Series. This is my famous wall series, which uses the wall to create leverage uh, and opportunities in backbending to stretch the front of thigh, strengthen the belly, and in general, give a student a better chance at success at Urdhvadana Rasana, which is considered a peak backbending posture in many modern yoga methods. <clears throat> Urdhvadana Rasana can be a challenging and dangerous yoga pose if a student is not prepared properly and not instructed in how to use the stomach and inner thighs and wrists to shift the burden of the back bend out of the lower back and into the upper ribs and front thighs. Uh, so the sequence begins with a uh, half handstand or 45 degree inversion of down dog with the feet on the wall. Then there is a kneeling lunge with the left leg forward to emphasize the strength in the right calf with the hands either on the front knee or behind the neck. Then there is a pigeon pose with the left leg forward to alternate left and right sides of the body to keep the endorphins fresh and to distribute the stress throughout the whole body rather than focusing on one side. Uh, then there's a reversal into Pachimodanasana over the left leg and this um, creates some more strength in the stomach and ability to lengthen the inhalation, which will later be very crucial. Following that is a right twist and then a transition into upward facing half reclining virasana with the left thigh and knee secured at the corner of the wall and the left foot pointing up the wall. This is a very powerful psoas muscle stretch and it requires a lot of strength in the abdomen to withstand the stretch without attempting to turn the knee open or uh, bend in the lower back excessively. Then there's a, both knees come to the wall for upward facing puppy, a refreshing mild pose that gives some sense of ease or a sense of advantage for having gone through so many hard stretches. Then there is a baby scorpion, which has the chest on the floor and the hands alongside the ribs and elbows in with the feet up the wall in a posture resembling mountain pose. More advanced students can, of course, move their chest closer into the wall for a higher and deeper upper thoracic back bend. Uh, then there's a repeat of Upward Facing Puppy to refresh sense of ease and gradual nature of healthy sequencing, followed by a repeat of the half handstand or 45 degree inversion of Down Dog. Then the sequence repeats with all of the opposite sides. And uh, in the video that you'll see, I will repeat the series on both sides two times and then I will attempt the Urdhvadana Rasana twice. All right? So that's Friday afternoon backbending. Uh, I've been enjoying a lovely time here in the beautiful city uh, of Padua, Italy. And I uh, will be going to Venice for my third um, time to teach some yoga to some local people and people flying in for the event. Uh, thank you so much, and please enjoy this Friday backbending series. Om Shanti.
Thank you very much for watching Dachin's Daily Dharma, episode 13, Friday afternoon backbending wall sequence. I hope you enjoy and learn something. Please always uh, use supervision when practicing difficult yoga asanas. However, uh, yoga is a self-practice, and at the end of the day, you have to do the practice yourself, at home, while you're traveling, uh, at any available opportunity, you must eat, breathe, and sleep your practice. Um, it's been great time on this tour. Thank you to everybody involved. And please hit the like button and the subscribe button to uh, sign up for Dachin's Daily Dharma. Uh, more episodes. Thank you.